After spending countless hours in this lab, this all-girls team made up of Joanna castro Lakins, Desiree Chavez-Lopez, Chesley Gonzalez, and Shania Mancol is ready to introduce their creation to the public. It's crazy to think how um, girls like us, just regular girls like us, could do something um, that spreads this far and wide. The girls are high school seniors at E3 Civic High School in downtown. They've been selected to participate in a Lamelson Mitt Invent Team grant program. The student-led team is one of only eight across the nation and the only team from San Diego chosen to participate. They were given more than $7,000 to create an invention that provides a safer environment for young people in social settings. The girls chose to tackle sexual assault on college campuses. As women that are about to go to college soon, that's something that could happen to us or someone we know. So we we thought that it was something that we should really definitely um, address. So they've created a watch that allows people to test for drugs and drinks. You would remove the dropper from the watch and dip it into the liquid. Once you collect the sample, you can drop it into one of the testing strips and then there'll be a reaction within like... That will oh, beep. it beeps. This will tell you that your drink has been spiked. And that's where the technology comes in. Once it detects that the drink has been spiked, it'll send a message to your trusted contact with the date, the time, and the location of where your drink was spiked. As young women, they say it's important for them to make this watch accessible to everyone. They say the watch would cost you anywhere between $20 to $30. And you could get the testing strips for $10 a pack. The watch can also be fixed up to your fashion taste. And you can customize it. Yes, you can. So we're all wearing our different wrist watch or wristbands, as you can see, and we all have different tops that we've made. While the girls are hopeful companies will want to invest in this product, they say it's what they've learned throughout this process, through the help of teachers, that makes this experience life-changing, especially for young women trying to make it in the STEM world. She reminds us every day that we belong in this space and that if we put our minds to it, we can do it. And we're inventors. In as much as anybody else's. So she's been really helpful to us. And after graduating, the students will head to MIT on Saturday before they present on Wednesday. We will keep you posted on their progress. Reporting from downtown Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.